Have you had this happen to you before? You're sitting on the couch, you're trying to watch a YouTube video on your TV, and you find that when the volume is quiet in the video, you have to turn up the volume on your TV just to be able to hear it. And when that volume gets real loud, you have to turn down the volume on your TV because it's too much and you don't want to blow your ears out. But what you're hearing there is a wide dynamic range for your audio. And that just means we have the loud parts really loud and the quiet parts really quiet. And this is why it is important to think about the dynamic range of your audio while you're editing it in DaVinci Resolve. We wanna make sure that our loud parts aren't too loud and our quiet parts aren't too quiet. We wanna bring them a little bit closer so that we still see a difference or still hear a difference, but we don't want our audience to have to use the remote control to change the volume of the video while they're watching it. So today we're gonna to talk about that, improving the dynamics of your audio in your videos right here in DaVinci Resolve. And I've got an example that's gonna demonstrate this for you on how we can take the loud parts, make them a little bit quieter, take the quiet parts, make them a little bit louder, and give our viewers a good listening experience while they're watching our videos. But let's be honest, if your audio stinks, nobody's gonna hang around and watch your videos. If you want other tips on making your audio awesome in DaVinci Resolve here for your videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I got a ton of good stuff coming up, a lot of stuff in the back catalog if you need to check any of that out. Let's jump into Resolve and I'm gonna show you how we can work with our dynamics and make it sound better for a viewer. Let's go. So I'm in DaVinci Resolve right now. Let's play the sample clip so you can hear the difference that I'm talking about between louder parts and quiet parts. And then we're gonna help balance all that out in DaVinci Resolve here. So take a look at this example. So sometimes in our videos, we talk loud like this. We set our levels based on us talking loud or our subject talking loud. But then there's times where people, maybe they're a little farther away, maybe they just decide to talk a little bit quieter because I gotta tell you something about the game that's going on here that I don't want everybody else to know about. Well, for your viewer, they may need to adjust the volume on your video and you don't want them to have to do that. So we can use compression here in DaVinci Resolve to help reduce our dynamic range and make it a better listening experience for our viewers. And I'm gonna show you how to do that with this clip. So there's our clip. Notice in our waveforms here in Resolve, we have what appears to be louder parts. And then in the mid section here, you can tell it's a lot quieter because the waveforms are smaller. Now we could come in here and manually keyframe this and bring up the quieter parts, but we can use the dynamics and the compressor to do it for us automatically. In order to access our compressor, we need to jump over into Fairlight. So right now I'm in the edit tab right here and we wanna jump into Fairlight, the musical notes at the bottom here. So now that I'm in Fairlight, I'm just gonna make my audio track a little bit bigger here so we can see it nice and good. Now we wanna work with our compressor and our dynamics. So in order to find that, you need to have your mixer open if your mixer's not open, click on this icon at the top. And then down here we have dynamics. You should see it here in your mixer. If you don't, click the three little dots and you have mixer or dynamics, I'm sorry, dynamics right here. So go ahead and double click on your dynamics. Now, when we're looking at our dynamics panel, the compressor right here is the section that we're gonna be taking a look at right now. So I wanna go ahead and turn on the compressor. Now a compressor, when we turn it on here, what it's gonna do is take those loud parts of our audio and compress it down a little bit, right? It's just gonna make it so it doesn't get as loud as it otherwise would if we didn't have a compressor on there. It's gonna squash it down just a little bit in basic terms. So we can adjust our compressor by changing our threshold right here. If you wanna reset it, you can just double click any of the knobs here. And then the other one you wanna take a look at is ratio, right? So for dialogue, usually between two or three is gonna be good, maybe around 2.5, kinda like this, 2.5 to one a good place to be for your dialogue. So I'm gonna play through our clip. We're gonna reduce the loud parts just a little bit, and then we're gonna work with the quiet parts and make those quiet parts a little bit louder. So let's go ahead and play through the clip. And all I'm gonna do is adjust this threshold right here so that it is compressing some of my audio. Now we'll know that it's getting compressed by looking at this middle slider right here. It's gonna light up and tell us how much compression is being applied. So let's go ahead and play through this and we're gonna adjust our threshold. So I'm gonna double click just to reset it to start from scratch and here we go. Sometimes in our videos, we talk loud like this. We set our levels based on us talking loud or our subject talking loud. But then there's times where people, maybe they're a little farther away. Maybe they just decide to talk a little bit quieter because I got it. Okay, so we're compressing down to about minus six dB, which is a good spot to be for your dialogue. And as we got to the quieter part here, we saw that the compressor wasn't doing anything because that compressor doesn't need to because the audio is too quiet, right? So now let's talk about how do we make our quiet parts a little bit louder. So we're gonna use the makeup slider here in our dynamics panel to do that, which is this guy right here. So I'm gonna play through the quiet parts of our audio here and I'm gonna boost this up and I wanna watch my output meters and I wanna see where does that quiet audio start. So for example, if I play a little clip of it here, 
decide to talk a little bit quieter because I got to tell you. You can see it's a little over thir minus 30 dB, so maybe it's about minus 27 dB, somewhere around there. Well, I want to make that a little bit louder. I probably want that to be somewhere between maybe minus 15 and minus 20, somewhere around there. And then that should be a good uh, level for us for our final audio clip here. So let's go ahead and make that adjustment as we play through the quiet part of our audio here. And all I'm going to do is take this makeup, boost it up, and I'm going to watch my meter, my output meter over here to make sure we're getting the levels that we want. They just decide to talk a little bit quieter because I got to tell you something about the game that's going on here that I don't want everybody else to know about. Well, all right, so let's try maybe right about there, right? Now, when the audio gets loud again, I don't want it to get screaming loud too loud, right? So we might have to adjust our compressor a little bit just so that it doesn't get too loud. So I'm going to watch from the beginning. I'm going to watch my meters. So as the video is playing, I'm going to watch the meters over here. I want to make sure the loud parts aren't much more than minus 10 dB. A little bit over is okay, but we want to kind of keep it around that minus 10. And then our quiet parts should be where we just set it, somewhere around that minus 20 to minus 15, somewhere in that range. So let's play through our clip, watch our output meter here, and we can make adjustments to our makeup if we need to for the quiet parts or our threshold right here if we need to compress our louder parts a little bit. Let's see what we got. So sometimes in our videos, we talk loud like this. We set our levels based on us talking loud or our subject talking loud. But then there's times where people, maybe they're a little farther away. Maybe they just decide to talk a little bit quieter because I got to tell you something about the game that's going on here that I don't want everybody else to know about. Well, for your viewer, they may need to adjust the volume on your video. And you. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Watching the meters while we're playing it back. It sounds okay in my ears. And as far as where do our levels fall in the meter, it's looking pretty good, right? So... Um, let's just do a quick little before and after. So here is dynamics off. I turned them off and here's what the original clip sounded like. Times where people, maybe they're a little farther away. Maybe they just decide to talk a little bit quieter because I got to tell you. Right. So you can hear the difference there. Now, if I turn on our dynamics, but then there's times where people, maybe they're a little farther away. Maybe they just decide to talk a little bit quieter because I got to tell you something about the. Okay. So can you hear the audio there? It's a little more consistent. There's not such a wide variation between the loud parts and the quiet parts, right? Now, when you're recording, you wanna capture all that, right? Because we can work with it in post here and make it sound the way that we want, You know, work with our dynamics a little. We do wanna capture that dynamic range when we're recording, just so we have the options of doing different things with it. But you wanna make sure that your levels are at least good enough for your quieter parts that you've got something good to work with. So by improving the dynamics of your video by using the compressor along with the makeup slider there in our dynamics panel is just gonna make a better viewing experience for your viewer. Now there are some times where you want a big difference between the quiet parts and the loud parts, but in general, we wanna make sure that that dynamic range is in a good spot so that our viewer doesn't have to ride their remote control and turn the volume up and turn the volume down when they're watching your videos. Because if you have audio problems with your videos, there's a good chance people are gonna jump off your video and not keep watching it because it's just hard to watch, it's hard to hear. So dynamics, super important, try it out on your videos. Make sure your dynamics are set up good here in DaVinci Resolve when you're working on your projects. Guys, with that said, thank you so much for watching. Questions, comments, leave it down below. You wanna learn more audio stuff in DaVinci Resolve here, subscribe to my channel, hit that like button if you learned just a little something, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.